I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. <laughs> Do you want to create a Facebook group? I'll show you how. Hello, hello, and welcome back to our channel, the place to be for all things podcasting. We release videos each week on topics about audio production, content strategy, social media promotion, and all you need to know when starting or improving your podcast. There isn't such thing as podcasting in a vacuum. At some point in your podcasting journey, you'll realize that whether you intended it or not, you're building your tribe. Podcasting is about building relationships and building a community with your listeners. And Facebook provides the perfect way to build your tribe online by using Facebook groups. So continuing with the Facebook saga, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create and personalize your Facebook group. On our next video, I will be showing you some of the best practices to grow your Facebook group and how to increase and maintain engagement. We want to create active groups and inspire the members of our group to share and participate. So hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified. Okay, let's get to it. Number one, let's start creating our Facebook group. Creating a Facebook group is pretty easy. The hardest part is to grow it but this is something that you will do over time applying some of the tips that I will share with you on the next video. To create your Facebook group, log into your Facebook page or personal Facebook account and click on the Create button located on the right side of your top menu bar. From the drop-down menu, choose Group. This will open up a window prompting you to select a name for your group and also to add members to start your group. You can also select whether you want your group to be private or public, and also if you want your group to be secret by selecting the hidden button. As I mentioned in my last video, secret or hidden groups are not visible in searches, and only members of the group can find it. Once we're done with these four steps, we hit the create button, and there you go, we have a Facebook group. Now that your Facebook group is up and running, you can start customizing it by uploading a cover photo and adding a description for your group. Let's talk about the banner. Make sure your banner or cover photo includes a picture of you and colors that identify your brand. Also, make sure that you include that the group is hosted by you and include a call to action to visit your website or download your freebie. You can create your group banner using Canva. This is how I created mine. The dimensions for your Facebook group banner should be 820 by 462 pixels. Once the banner is ready, upload it to your Facebook group and add the link to the call to action in the description field. Another thing that your group will need is a description. Here you can get very creative and create a catchy description that sums up what the group will be about. Also below the description, you can add a location if necessary. Another thing that you need is membership questions. Put some thought into the membership questions. The answers to these questions will give you a closer look into your community. You want to know what they're struggling with and how you can help them, as well as knowing how they're finding your group. Now let's talk about group rules. The group rules will give notice to the members about what they are and aren't allowed to do in the group. It is very important that the members of your group feel the group is a safe place for them to share and express themselves without being targeted, bullied, or ridiculed. Another good practice is to change the URL. 
you also want to create a new URL for your Facebook group so you can easily share it with your listeners and your community on other platforms, like your podcast, website, and other social media platforms. The default URL that Facebook creates is a series of numbers that are impossible to memorize and to share. So using the Facebook group I created as an example, I'm going to change the URL to www.facebook.com slash groups slash podcasting with Vera. Even better, if you have a website, you can create a redirect or short link for your Facebook group. For example, for our Facebook group podcasting for buses, we created a short link that looks like this. There are other features inside the group settings that can help you customize your Facebook group and the content that you post in it. For example, you can change the group type depending on what your group is about, activating different features. You can create a group with the purpose of distributing learning content for your members. You can create a gaming group and host gaming tournaments. In the case of this example, we're going to leave it as a general group. Another thing you should add to your group is tags. Tags work as keywords on Facebook. Adding tags to your group will allow it to come up when Facebook users are searching for those keywords. So it increases the searchability for your Facebook group. Also make sure you link your Facebook group to your Facebook page and vice versa. This will allow you to invite people from your business page to your Facebook group. You can also customize your group by changing the color of your Facebook group profile to one of your brand colors. But have in mind that customizing your color is only available on mobile. There's a lot of cool things you can do in your Facebook groups. You can organize posts by topics, you can create webinars, mini courses, challenges, only available for members of your group. Another bodacious and tubular feature is the keywords alert. As our Facebook group grows in size, we want to be able to protect the mission and integrity of our group by controlling and prohibiting hate speech. For this, you can add words to the Keywords Alert tab and get notified every time somebody uses words like stupid, hate, buy, or any other words. As your group grows, you may want to designate people within your group to help you keep the group free from bullies and spammers. Well, Podkeys, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and easy to follow. Now you can go and create your Facebook group and invite your listeners. There will be times in your podcasting journey when you will have to turn to your community for support, guidance, and inspiration. So don't wait a day and start building your community now. Also, if you found this video useful and you had a warm and fuzzy feeling while watching it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to have access to more of our content, make sure to join our Facebook group, Podcasting for Buses, at www.podsoundschool.com slash community. But before you go, don't forget two things. Don't forget to subscribe, and no olviden hacer la tarea. Happy casting, amigos!